Hi, I'm Randy. Today I'm at another Lexus driving event in Anaheim. We're in front of the Los Angeles Angels Stadium and they rented out this big ass parking lot so we can drive. We're going to check out the Lexus LS500 along with some other cars. Not quite sure yet. It's going to be a surprise for me. Check it out. After registering, I got to choose what LS500 I wanted to drive, so I chose the hybrid. Before I go over my driving experience, I'm going to take you on a tour to an awesome place, and that is the interior of the Lexus LS500. But since I didn't have enough time to get footage, I got my hands on one, and it was amazing. The LS500 is pretty fully loaded, as you can see, but this car did have some unnecessary options. Base price is $75,000, but with options and destination, it came out to be $76,817. I have to say, brown wouldn't be my first choice, but I work with what I have. When you first get in, you notice the precise and elaborate stitching of the steering wheel and a crap load of controls. You're like, what the hell? But those are the controls to the digital instrument panel, phone options, cruise and radio controls, adaptive cruise control, park assist. And those are standard. Even comes with paddle shifters for those race days. The dash has a very sexy chronograph clock with a 24 inch display. Below that, there are lines going through the air vents which carry throughout the dash and ends at the door. All the air controls have buttons you can push for your customized likings. It doesn't have an Android Auto or Apple CarPlay, but it has this cool CD player. The transmission knob was solid and firm. Placing the car in the gear was really simple. Just look at the picture, duh. The touchpad wasn't as hard to use as some say. I'll go over that later. The buttons below is a sunshade and seat control. What's missing is the eco mode and the car height adjustment. When you open the armrest, you get a 12 volt outlet, a jack and USB. And who would have thought in the cup holder, there's another 12 volt charger. The sculpted design on the screen does not turn off or change. This is the first time I've seen four different types of designs, eight types of materials with eight different colors on the door. It's so complicated and an art deco Picasso would get jealous. The driving mode knob and traction control knob are placed in an odd place, but highly accessible so when you're driving, you can focus on driving. The wiper and blinker stocks are where they should be. This is an optional illuminating door seal that says Lexus. If you look up, you have your sunglass holder, your SOS button, sunroof, tilt and open tab, and LED map lights. The standard seats you see here are climate control, 16-way adjustable driver and front passenger power seats with memory. Upgrade to the luxury package for $12,000 and you can cancel your membership to Massage Envy because the front and back seats become massagers. These are the most pronounced massage seats I've ever felt in a car. It's literally like a Brookstone massage chair that can adjust 28 ways. Come standard are blind spot warnings and blinkers on the side view mirrors. The back seat is just as plush as the front seats with nothing really fancy in the standard model. It comes with a couple vents. 12 volt outlet, and a magazine holder behind each seat. The rear center armrest comes standard with a sunshade control and the passenger front seat control to move it forward to give you more leg room. Also comes with a pretty decent sized compartment so you can hide your crap and charge your phone. Each B pillar comes with a small vent and highly complicated Art Deco door design. Check this out, for $75,000, all four doors are soft clothes. Take that, BMW and Mercedes. I'm not gonna spend too much time on the trunk, but it comes with auto close, a handle to close the trunk manually, and these aluminum car trunk protectors. Like most cars today, you give up design with authenticity. The exhaust pipes are way smaller. I noticed under the right vent under the front bumper had a cover behind it. But the left side, it had a radiator. This LS500H that I'm driving has a 3.5 liter engine with two electric generators. All wheel drive pushing 354 horsepower and goes 0 to 60 in 5.2 seconds. That's really fast for a car that weighs 
5,200 pounds. That's as much as two great white sharks. The hybrid in the LS isn't a plug-in. It works similar to the Prius. It has a complicated CVT transmission combined with a four-speed transmission. It worked really well for me. I like CVTs because of the linear feel you get. The hybrid was super quiet. The engine took over seamlessly as I stepped on the throttle. There was little lean as I took some quick turns, but I doubt most LS500 owners aren't gonna drive it like they rented it. Now, if you're looking for a serene, cool, quiet, and comfortable car to take on trips or even commute, you should highly consider the LS500. The Lexus LS500 is not a car of high performance, it's a car of luxury and some performance. It doesn't ride as stiff as a BMW 7 Series and rides more cushier than a Mercedes S-Class. It doesn't ride like my mom's LS430 anymore. We're making it turn faster than 10 miles an hour. You have to hold on to the old shit handle. The new Lexus has a stiffer and lower suspension with a more sophisticated powertrain and more tech. The 0 to 60 times have always been in the mid 5 second range and the interior design and lack of interior noise have always been up there with Mercedes if not better. I've always loved the Lexus for its styling, smoothness and reliability. By the way, I started playing with the touchpad for the infotainment display. It was quite different and difficult at first, but it was my first time. So it seemed like it was something I could get used to and get the hang of after a while. It wasn't as bad as some say, you just have to be patient. If I were to load this car up with options, I'd definitely get the Lexus safety system for $3,000 the luxury package for $12,000 and possibly the F Sport package for $6,000. So there you go, the full review of the Lexus LS 500H. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button at the bottom and subscribe to my channel. I'm Randy, see ya. Hi, I'm Mickey Mouse, what's your name? <laughs>